Hey, Mike here from 28 Fish. We're doing a year with the gear review on the Otter Crossover Lodge. So we bought this flip over shack after having that uh, Eskimo pop up, which is an awesome shelter in itself. But we found that we need to be more mobile and we also need to be able to haul our equipment inside. So that's what a flip over can give you. So looked around for a number of different kinds but to be honest with you bought this one because it was the one that was available in Saskatchewan. I looked at all the different fishing shops and uh, this model was in stock the moment that I wanted to buy it. It was on the top kind of three so that's why we ended up buying this particular one. So we've had it for about a year and a half and we're pretty happy with it actually. So I'll just take you on a quick tour of it here so you know the features it has before you buy it. So the first thing is it has three doors, well actually three and a half. One in the front here which opens up to a full man door, comes in, and you can see that there's no purlons in the way. The framing is all the way around, so it never is blocked. Now, these side doors, if you look through here, while I open it from the other, from the outside, you can see that there can be a purlon in the way. Again, it opens, it velcros open, it's kind of nice to have both sides. You can move this particular bar, which is normally here, and it blocks your door. You can move it down here, and then that way you can walk through. So you got those features. And there's another one on the other side here. There's adequate windows on both doors and on the front, and there's one on the back as well. Okay, by half door, this is what I meant. There's a rear access door, just a half seat. And what it's meant for is so you can go down in here and grab things out of the back of your sled. To keep the window, there's a, a snow skirt around the outside, and there also is one that goes along the edge, front edge of the sled. So that keeps the window quite well. The other thing that helps, that we really like about this, is the wall. So if you have a look here, this is uh, an insulated wall. I don't know the, the weight of it, but it's definitely good enough for a fish in here in minus 40. With a heater, you're absolutely fine. So it's very comfortable. The floor of the actual fishing area is about 25 square feet, so more than enough for uh, you know two people. And with a futon, we can get up to four, you know, two small people and two adults fishing in here. Lots of room uh, if you're strategic to put your heater and all your electronics and your fishing holes as well. So for the most part, in the wind, the shelter actually does very well. As you can see, it's kind of flopping around right now with some brisk winds. The one tip I'd give you is always set up so the back of the shelter is into the wind so it helps to plant the shelter down. Otherwise if you do it, it will flip It will flip over on you. The other thing that Otter has supplied is a various different uh, supports brackets. So this one here is for the rear. You can see it's got a bit of a bend to it. That's just because when we have the couch flip down, um, it bends around it. So that one just sticks in there, comes up to the front. And you have a couple that are of fixed length and a couple adjustable ones. And you just get them in between the, the uprights like this. And then extend your, extend and, and lock it down with the thumb wheel and you got a good secure fit. That's a good feature. It allows you to stretch out the fabric, especially if it's snowing or like I said, if it's really windy. So one thing that I really needed to have in a flip over shelter that you got to watch for is the overall height. So this one actually, I'm six feet tall exactly and I have a bit of space here. When I come to this side, I, I obviously touch the roof but I can still function. I can't stand being in a shack where I got to crouch down. So this was a definite, a definite bonus. Uh, those smaller ones, it's really for keeping heat but there's no problem keeping this thing heated with a big body heater. Uh, even a small buddy here you don't need to have a lot of heat so this thing cost I think I can't remember I think it was twelve hundred dollars so I'll tax it in like fourteen hundred bucks but it doesn't come with everything you need so let me show you what it didn't have so the first thing you're gonna need that it doesn't come with is the hitch system I know that seems silly that you have a pull behind shelter without a hitch but that's how it is so the hitch system that I have on here is a universal one I think I got this from Princess Auto might have been K and Tire but it fits the width and works just fine. Otter does have their own. It's, it's a little bit different design and it costs a little bit more money. <laughs> so the other thing it doesn't have is any runner system. Look, you'll wear the bottom of the sled out in no time. So they sell what they call a high fax system. So it's these blue Teflon runners. They're built to fit perfectly. You could probably make some out of a Teflon tabletop. I did that on some other smaller Pelican sleds, but I thought for, I'm gonna invest this much money, I might as well get the actual Otter one. 
And the strangest thing is, I got them from PV Mart, who sells nothing else in Otter, but they do sell the high fax and the <laughs> and the hitch system. I don't get it, but that's where you can find it in Canada. So if you're gonna put those high facts on, give yourself some time because there's a whole lot of screws they have to put in in order to hold them. None of them have popped loose though, so it's worth your time. So one thing that I added and uh, designed myself was a little hitch. So this way I can run a second sled or if I run uh, like a cutter or something to pull my sons. So I actually attached it to the, back, the main bracket that's inside. So it has some real structural integrity, not just pulling on plastic. So the other thing that we added that's not an otter product is some tie down D-rings in order to uh, accommodate this clam fish house cover. And so we can, you know, put some bungee cords on our strap and things on. It was a pretty simple little addition. It works great. So once we started kind of like living and fishing out of this thing, we found that we needed more storage options. So we bought, this is actually an otter uh, unit and put this on the back for things like mitts and toques. They do have on the sides, they already have integral ones, but they weren't quite enough. And the other thing that we found was putting these hooks up here. These are from Cabela's. Again, you can get them from Otter. Just to hang jackets and rods and whatever else you might need to hang is really quite a handy option. Another addition that we put on was just these rod holders. You can get them from Otter, but I just made these up real quick out of some material I had at home. Really handy to you know hold your rod when you have to slip outside, check a tip up or whatnot. So one of the big selling points for a flip over for me was having enough storage room inside of the inside of the uh, sled to have all of your equipment here ready at the, at the go. So I mean just to demonstrate how much room you have, even with the futon edition, which you definitely don't, normally they come with two seats, gives you lots. Here's a big buddy heater, it's way overkill for this thing, but just you know, the sheer size of that coming out you can see there's tons and tons of room. Put all your rods, your auger, you can put everything in here and not have to strap it on the skidoo or have another sled to haul your equipment. So another feature that I really like about this is once you have all the purlon set and especially when you have the, uh, the the second set down to the bottom it allows you to have this you know kind of wind structure here if it's a beautiful day like it is today in March you can fish but what it's really good about as you can see there's the footprint of the shelter so you know exactly where to drill your holes so you're not sitting inside there filling, especially if you're one of those gas auger guys, filling your shack full of noxious fumes. You flip it over, you drill your holes, you can kick your snow out, and you're ready to rock. So overall the pros of this is portability. Um, it's super easy to keep all your gear inside and throw it on a trailer and it moves really quickly. You roll into place, it's easy for running and gunning. Lots of storage room inside the sled. Super warm shelter, really easy to set up. The setup time is minimal and it makes it so much nicer when you're fishing. The cons, number one, the price points. I, I don't have a problem paying the money they're worth, but what I do have a problem with is that it doesn't have everything you need to get out of the gate. You get it home, you don't know all the contents and there's no hitch, there's no high facts, there's no storage pieces. All these little things that add up cost quite a bit. Um, overall, the quality of it, I haven't had any of the windows break down or anything like that. We haven't had any of the tent rip. The purlons are holding up fairly well and they're actually designed with a little bit of a, of a give mechanism so that they can flex even in the wind and stuff so they're not going to twist and break. So overall the quality is great. It's just that understand if you're buying this shelter you're going to be adding a lot of extra things to it. And of course if money is an issue like it is for pretty much everybody in the world you got to make sure that you have enough room to budget for what you're getting. Well, thanks again from 28 Fish for watching this Year with the Gear review. Again, I would definitely recommend these Otter Pro Lodges, but uh, make sure you got some moolah to do it, okay? Look at this leaker! It's a monster! I can't even put it on. That's okay. Here, we're going to dip the bump board here.